Good morning, class. My name is Miss Green, and I was told to tell y'all, please pay attention to this video about math. <clears throat> uh, Miss Green, my mama said, uh, I'm a punish punishment, and uh, mama had said, I ain't supposed to be watching the videos. Uh, I'm on punishment, Miss Green. Uh, my mama had. Miss. Uh, 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 Miss Green. Oh, Miss Green. Now everyone pays attention to the white boy that turns into a TV. You sitting on the couch, you watching TV, and you sitting on your ass eating spaghetti. And you thinking, my ankle hurt. The reason why your ankle's hurting is because you're too busy eating all that damn spaghetti. How much damn spaghetti you got? You got one spaghetti plus another spaghetti. That's too much damn spaghetti. You know how much money you spent last year buying spaghetti? How that how that look how that look? How you supposed to how how am I supposed to take you seriously when you just keep buying all that damn spaghetti.
soft landing you will find on a bubblegum bubble that belongs to me. I've been following close behind. I'm D. Smalls, MA, educating you online in one min. It's so fast. Looking like you have a job is key to feeling like a well-rounded grown-up, in a false way. Restoring temporary self-confidence is as easy as this online class. First, find a spot in your neighborhood artisanal coffee shop. Visibly drop a self-published design magazine of your choice, then simply open your laptop and begin to type, like so. No smiling, though. Don't smile. Faking it as a freelance designer makes another day feel like a triumph. Enough work. As a treat to our golden members, a refreshing daytime cocktail for the unemployed. A fragrant CV with a twist puts the giggle back into the gig economy. Upgrade now to a Platinum Membership for more one-min unadulterated degrees. Such as managing crushes on inanimate objects, which kind of cheese for which kind of day, taxidermy therapy in a postmodern world. And please look out for my upcoming memoir, where it all went wrong and why. Okay kids, so today you're going to be presenting your Capturing a Moment art projects. So I hope you brought those. Uh, first up is Jeremy. My name, my name's uh, actually Laramie. Um, it, it's like Jeremy, but it, it, with an L. That's okay. Okay, so this is AJ. Uh, he's my overwhelming buddy. What is an overwhelming buddy? Uh, it's an anxiety puke bucket. Uh, so this is my art, and it's uh, it, it's AJ, as you can see, mm -hmm. and he's uh, on the phone with his auto insurance company, okay. and the auto insurance company has just told him that they're only going to cover two out of the three funerals. Okay, no, no, that the auto, we're not doing that, we're not doing that, Larry. That the so. auto insurance company what? sort of deemed him at, uh -huh. at fault, right? For at okay. fault. Well, so how about how about you, so, how about you, well, so, this, how about so this is him just kind of learning that his liability limit wasn't high enough, and that also one of the uh, victims was a toddler. Okay, but. great. So that was Laramie and Laramie's art. My name's Laramie. Yep. So we're gonna. Nope. You don't have to clap for that. D minus. That's okay. Uh, yes, Laramie. Hey, it's Laramie. Um, I noticed you just now said you don't have to clap for that D minus. Uh, you didn't, you didn't really do the, well, I uh, did the assignment. Yes, but you've, you've been listening in on some private conversations, Private Laramie, conversations? That, what? that your teacher's been having on his phone. Well, I didn't know that was a private conversation. I mean, y you took that call in front of the entire class. The look on your face was, you know, jarring. You, it's... you don't even know, the, you're only hearing one half of the, it was not a toddler. Okay, it was a tween. Well, but you said we could pick any moment for our art, and, and that's the moment that I chose to capture because well, it was Laramie. You know, it was a powerful moment. Your eyes were bulging. No, my eyes were, were not uh, sweating and and, sp and spitting. Laramie, I only spit when I brush my teeth. And then so you punched that hole in the desk, and you just put a textbook over it, as if that would like, I don't know, make us forget that you punched a hole. You know what, Laramie? You've convinced me. You get a C minus. Whoa! Okay? Wait, really? Yep. And you don't even have to keep talking because the conversation ended. It did. Oh. I get annoyed when I have to be honest with myself because I'm usually trying to rationalize avoidance uh, instead of just doing what I should be doing. But starting something is hard and. Looking at fish tanks online is easy. My brain likes to go through mazes to get to points. The other day I made an obstacle course for a roly poly, but it went around. Made me wonder why I put myself through the trouble. I think the hardest thing for me to grasp is that it doesn't have to be complicated. And the longer I ignore something, the longer I can convince myself it went away until reality snaps back in and I realize I can't pretend to tie my shoes for forever.
the shells are already going to be right. weak. They're going to be easy to pop off. So anyways, okay, so I made some artwork um, mm. about us. It's sort of just like a kind of a representation of, um, you know, you and me, our friendship. Us. I've never met you before. So okay, here's the thing. I sort of, I made the artwork uh, kind of preemptively. Laramie, this this is weird and... Uh, oh. No, that's not what you say. Look, look at this. Look at this. What, what is this right here? Well, that's your hair. It looks like some sort of cantaloupe. My well, hair is more like a oh. corn on the cob, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not really seeing gotta, that. But every morning uh, I wake up and uh, get this cob look going on. Yeah, right? just, yeah it does not I look like it, a cob I, at all, yeah, though. I call it the cob web. Yeah? Ah, get in the bush! Whoa. Laramie, get in the bush! Get in the bush, Laramie! Get in the bush! That's Nat King Cole, skater legend. Why, why do they call him Nat King Cole? Every time he sees a gnat, this guy snatches it out of thin air, and his name is Cole. Wow, I, I think I've seen people do that with the flies. Yeah, well, these are gnats. No, I know. I'm just saying I've only flies ever seen Flies are easy. That's a piece of cake. Right. All right? Yeah. Gnats, the cake crumbs. They're like tiny little flies. Every, not, what did you just say? Well, I, mean, I was just saying that gnats are basically just small little flies. Don't even say fly oh. right now, please. Well, maybe we should hop out of the bush and I could say hi and show him the friendship drawing. Oh, God, he's coming. Look at those sweet skate moves. No wonder he's friends with everyone. Be friends with everyone? So if someone were to become his friend, then that person would also be friends with everyone through the transit of Laramie, property? just promise to do three things for me. One, don't ever leave this bush. Two, don't let the king see that drawing. It's not a proper representation of me. Hey, look at this drawing. Three, do not high-five him. Those gnat-snatching fingers are his pride and joy. And four, do not ever, under any circumstance, ever touch Nat King Cole's skateboard, or he will punch you in the eye. Did you get all that? Yep. Tight. I'm gonna go say what up to the Nat King. Hey, what are you doing in my bush? Oh, uh, I'm just- hey. Hair freak. What up? I saw you in that bush kid's drawing. I'm just- Your hair looks so on dope in that. I'm hyped up on my dad's muscle relaxers, my stepmom's Ativan. I'm about to pop you right in both your eyes. I'm just- I'm just slumped over in a bush like the angel of grief. Only instead of mourning the death of my Protestant wife, I'm mourning the death of friendship. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, is that your drawing? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'll- put that away well i really like the uh what the melon what? on the man's head uh, you want to come over for dinner talk more about these melons i'm super into melons wait you you really like <laughs> I can't believe you liked my melon drawing so much that you invited me to dinner. Yep, that's what happened. Hey everyone, this is Laramie. Laramie, this is Squeaks. Oh, nice to meet you, Squeaks. Hey, Dylan. Hello again, Dylan. And Albert. Hi, Albert. You could call me Al. Okay. My favorite song. Oh. I go by Albert. Ah. Do you like Paul Simon? Mm, no, just Alicia Keys. At home, do you have spaghetti ho spaghetti hose hanging on your door? <laughs> no, just a leash. Uh, Keys. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank that you. That was a very fun conversation. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thank you. 
hey, do you still have that drawing of the melon head? Oh, yeah, it's right wow, here. Wow, look at that. I <laughs> love your melon drawing. Oh, thank you. You should draw more melons okay. right now oh. on this sheet of sticker paper. On the, on the... Because I like stickers yeah. and I like melons. Me too. Yeah, okay, sure. For my dinner toast, I'm thinking of reading some poems, and yes, or rather, yes, and, I will be doing some improv. Um, also, I think I'll toss in a few light barbs about each of our known flaws, like uh, Dylan's hair, Albert's age, your ability to hold things, Squeaks's uh, absence. Oh, and for the finale, I'm thinking about doing, like, a friendship duet, where I'll play dual roles, both friend and ship. Uh, but what do you think? I'm open to notes. I mean, does that, does all that sound, uh, good? Yes. And so they named that boat the Friendship. Okay, I can't do this anymore. Why are we hosting him? He gave me two black eyes! Dylan, stop it. Shut up, you're not my dad. Whose dad is he? Well, I say we fill Laramie in on what's really going on. Squeaks? Uh... Okay, so we bought 25 melons of car drives off for 200 a pop, totaling 5,000. Then we went on and got 25 broken drives for $10. We used the hairdryer to loosen up the adhesive on the barcodes, swap the tags, and return the broken ones to for a full refund. Ta-da! $5,000 worth of brand new hard drives for only 10 bucks. Yeah, I know. What? Oh, I saw the sign outside. I assume when you blasted the labels of the hairdryer, you discovered that the Melantech tamper evident seals are both heat sensitive and very fragile. Would not accept the return if those seals were damaged, so you enlisted Ada to exploit my despondent longing for social interaction in order to get me to, uh, you know, recreate the, well, you know the rest. Uh, <laughs> here's the last batch of your little stickers. Well, if you knew all that, why are you still here? I like spaghetti. I don't know, I guess it was just nice to have real friends for a bit. Even if we weren't real friends and it was just for a bit. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Wait, Laramie, this is gonna be hard for me to say. And it's not just because of my speech impediment or my two back teeth, but you can't wear shoes when you're inside the bus. Okay, well, I'm leaving right now. No, I know, so I, but it's just you gotta... I, I've been here for like four hours. I so should I, have said it earlier, but yeah. I just don't really see what it accomplishes now because I've already been walking around in my dirty as shoes a ter as all, respect, all, respect all day to the, long. So respect I don't to the rules. I, respect to the rules. You want me to take off my shoes, walk to the yeah, door... Yeah, take them off and, and then, hold them in your hand, walk to the door, right. put them back on. Okay. Oh, hi. Do you like to get dressed? Sometimes getting dressed is hard. Maybe we have an outfit that's just right, but we got tomato sauce on it. Can we wear a lamp? Wear a cat. What about some flowers? No, no chance you wear these flowers. But if we can't wear our favorite thing, do we have to wear anything at all? Let's find out. to do stuff and all I can think is like this is not good enough it's not good enough it's not good enough it's not good enough perfectionism. what is perfectionism is it power or is it insecurity what? I just want to be free of it I'm going to do an intervention to myself look at me look at me okay it's hard to do an intervention to yourself but I don't need myself to dislike what myself does why? How does it help? That's the thing, it feels like it helps a little, 
that it, it's like pushing me to greatness. But it's not, it sucks. It makes me sit on the couch and order pizza. What does it feel like to be free? How would I experience my day and myself and, and my pizza when I'm free? Mentally, and what stops me? What stops me <laughs> to do that? I think I'm gonna start right now. Here, I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. And it feels like... and every day I'm going to do it a little bit longer.